Good morning, crafty friends. Sparkle here. So this is a redo. I just disconnected my um, computer, unbeknownst to me. So this project was inspired by Wendy's Journal Adventure. And this is what we're going to be making. This sweet little um, folio journal. Now she used it as a Christmas, um, to do Christmas lists. So it opens up, it's got some sweet little pages in it. And these are pages that I printed on uh, the printer yesterday. These were sewed in uh, on mine, I'm going to stitch. And it has a sweet little pocket here. It has some stitching here, some faux corners, some stitching here. And this was a new to me binding. This is stitched, this seam binding is stitched right here to the tab. I added a piece of lace uh, to cover my um, seam, and here you go. To make these pages, these are book pages, and um, this is the page I used yesterday. It's just a piece of copy paper. I just took my um, book page, put glue on the edges, glued it down, and ran it through my printer. This I was inspired by Cheryl of at the Journal Co Cottage on YouTube. And these are some of the images that I was able to print from my files. Uh, the more um, spread out your images are, the more you can see the words behind. I like the flower ones and the butterfly the best. This is a black, black and black and white. This is one of my favorites, except look, it's upside down, but that's okay. And then this is a full sheet. I printed it on dictionary paper, and then I ran it through again, and I have this um, this house that I like, and on the back is uh, just flowers. So I can use this um, in one of my journals. So the paper I picked for today's project, which I just started assembling, was um, from Antonio Makes, and it was a freebie, and you got this paper here, and then you got three other three other pages. There's this bird one, this butterfly one, and this one. I've already folded them. I cut them all eight by eight, rounded the corners. And then I took three of those book pages, and this one I just folded in half. This one I folded um, like a zigzag. And this one I folded just in half. So there's um, imagery on both sides. Okay. And this is going to be my signature. And um, that's as far as I got. I went to the sewing machine to sew. Here and here and add my seam binding. And I pressed the wrong button. So this again was an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. And I just uh, folded it up 2 inches on the right. And that's what made this pocket. And then I folded this over, leaving a half inch here. The reason I didn't use this is because um, it's it's very flimsy. This uh, this one is is kind of flimsy. Okay, so I had a piece of um, something printed on cardstock, so I just utilized this piece off my desk. So I did a two inch fold here. And glued the sides and then I um, stitched here folded this so there's like a two a half inch little edge here sewed a tab and um, the seam binding here for my closure I really like that idea thanks Wendy so this is where we were when I was um, interrupted we have our signature, and I'm keeping it light.
actually, if you put like plain paper in here, this would be a great little folio. Uh, like if you go on a trip and just to jot down notes. So let's um, let's do some stitching because that's what Sparkle likes to do to sew her books in. So I needed another paper clip here. I like to take a ruler, and make sure everything is snug. And one, two, three. I'm going to use my trusty big boy here. So let's go in the middle someplace. I'm using the one sixteenth, and then we'll come out here. So we have three holes. Keep my tie in the middle, go down the middle, come up the front, go down the bottom, and come up the front again. Make sure it's tight. Oops. I'm a little off there, but that's okay. We're going to cover it. I like it better with the cardstock cover. This paper happens to be pretty thick, so I like that. Then this would go behind here. And then you could decorate your cover. I am going to put this on the side here. So let's do that. Especially since it's off, off center a little bit, this will this will hide it. You can use washi or something else here if you don't like um, lace. But this is what we're going to use. Yes, my glue got lost. The lit, the top actually broke off the tip. 
So I've been sticking this tool in here. Try to fold it and make sure it's centered. Bring it over here a little bit more. For it dries. nice. It just gives me some security. And then, um, let's see, I didn't um, plan out what I was going to do. Um, like I said, you can put some um, what happened here? Nothing. Operator error. I'm going to put some cards in here. Or some notes. Or some paper. And then you could add um, little treasures. If you want to add some bookmarks and things. I'm not sure what we're going to put on there yet. Let's I want to use up some of my keys, so just going to tie this onto here. If you had a big bead or something you could put on this one. Let's see if we put a tassel on there. We could put a tassel. So yeah, I had never heard of um, this gal, Wendy, and after I posted my picture, there was a bunch of other people that did similar books. So I'm supporting her and giving her a shout out today. Thank you, Wendy, again. And... Um, Till I decide where this puppy is going to go, I'm just going to um, tie it up. I will look for some um, embellishments. I like it uh, with the tie down there as opposed to my... Um, template here where the tie is on top. Either way is nice, but oops. just 
just a different look. Um, I, this one's much more sturdier. Okay. And then if I want to put anything else on it, um, I'm free to do that. I often um, don't over embellish until I know what I'm going to do with my projects. But I sure hope you'll try these. And um, I'm just calling them little um, uh, trifold um, mini journals. So thanks again, Wendy. Everybody have a beautiful day. Bye now.